Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the DTAC Plus here. This Snap On DTAC Plus. And we're going to show you how to charge a battery. Alright, so the first thing you need <laughs> is your safety glasses. Because batteries get corrosion, there's battery acid involved, something in the eye is not going to be fun. So, we're going to put these on for this video. So, talk loud. Since we are charging the battery, you want to make sure that the receptors on the battery are clean, that they don't have any corrosion or rust. And as you can see, this is a conventional battery because it has two um, spots where you can hook up the connectors and it's got vents on the top. An AGM battery, which would be. Uh, a gel based battery does not have those. So, what you want to do whenever you go to plug it in, make sure that it is unwrapped and make sure that all this is off and make sure that you, where you plug it in, it stays in. And then turn this switch on. All right, after you turn on your machine, you got everything running, you want to move on to hooking up your leads to the battery. You want to start out with your negative lead, then put on your positive lead. If you don't know where to put them, on this battery there will be a plus sign which means positive. And on the other side, there will be a negative sign, which means negative. So you want to take off the negative. And then you want to put on your positive. And make sure they're not going to fall off or go flying anywhere or anything. And they're nice and tight. Okay, now that you got your jumpers hooked up, the cables, got the leads, now you need to move on to testing the battery. So, you need to go to the machine, DTAC Plus, and scroll down to individual tests. This is yes, this is no. You want to click yes. Now you want to test the battery, so you're going to click battery test. Yes. Now you want to see if your battery is conventional or AGM. You look at the battery, seeing if it's conventional or AGM. If it's conventional, you're going to have vents like these and caps on top of the battery that are exposed. If it's an AGM, it's probably gel, and you're not going to have these, so this is a conventional battery, so I'm going to click yes. Then you want to see if it's an in-vehicle test or out-of-vehicle test. If it's in the vehicle but not hooked up, that is an out-of-vehicle test. But this battery right here is actually hooked up, so it's an in-vehicle test, so yes. You want to see how many cold cranking amps you have on the battery. You look at the battery. It has 590 cold cranking amps. So you click yes after you scroll. And then it's going to say honoring the battery impedance. And it's going to start running two tests. <laughs> you should hear it start to click and stuff and start running in, inside there and you know it's it's working. Hey, hey. 
there is two tests. Did you hear that click? So now let's switch over to the number two test. That's pretty much it. 